Evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, Eleman. Good evening. I think it's the money we need up with. Ay, Hello. Okay, we are ready. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Wendy. Adriana. Saira Marlene. Okay, okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, Wendy, uh, talking about the date that we have uh, in the poll. En la fecha que tenemos de la encuesta, eso dice, ¿cierto? Pero nosotros debemos de llevar eh, la cuenta de cuándo fue que iniciamos y cuándo vamos a finalizar. No, es como el dato, como a veces solo lo transcribimos y se supone que solo eso vamos a hacer, va a transcribirlo. Sí, sí. Está equivocado. Uh -huh. Está Supongo que 22 de abril. Uh -huh.
Está muy bien la observación. Ah, ok. Let me get higher the volume because I got it. Okay, another thing that you need to do is just to follow the interactions. Aunque ya tengan experiencia en el llenado de la encuesta, pedirles de favor que no la vayan a hacer antes. Para eso tenemos una fecha especial, un día especial en el cual vamos a llenarla. Así es que tranquilo, despacio, con buena letra lo vamos a hacer. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let's say good evening. Claudia, I guess. Hello, Claudia. Hello. How do you feel today? Um, tired. <laughs> <laughs> A little tired. <laughs> yes. Okay. <clears throat> But right now, uh, you are in your house, right? Yeah, uh, I'm in there. Now it's just, we are right um, A, I am. Okay. Uh -huh. But I'm not in my house. Uh -huh. Not in your house yet? No. My goodness. <laughs> Until tomorrow? No. Today. Ah, today. Huh. Okay. Nice. Laura Carolina. Hi, teacher. Hello, Laura. Hello. Loud, I swear to you. <clears throat>
Okay, here we go. Let me check out the attendance now, and then we are going to start. As I told you at the beginning, um, you need to follow instructions in order to fill out um, the, the information that uh, is for me. So please, uh, you need to wait until the right day. Recuerden que nosotros iniciamos el lunes 14. Y terminamos el viernes 22. Adriana del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Beatriz Campos. Present teacher. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan Vigil. Jonathan. No. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, sir. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Mayra Veralice. No. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Mami. Okay. Wendy Malibel. Present teacher. Jenny Sulaima. Jenny. Jenny. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Bautista. Present teacher. And Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, sir. Okay. Let us see what we're going to start. Well, as so I told you yesterday, we are going to continue talking about the, about the same topic. But also we are going to talk about and new terms related with the, the topic. This is video conference number 22, Spaces Brand Awareness. This is class number 22. Okay, before to continue, uh, we are going to make a review about the topic that we started yesterday. I remember that I told you uh, to keep in mind some concept. The first one is uh, brand awareness. Uh, I would like to hear from you that you tell me that you give me uh, the concept of these terms.
Hello? Let us make a review about what we studied yesterday. I remember I told you, okay, uh, try to jot down some ideas in order that you can remember. Teacher. Hello, the, Mariela. The branding awareness. Yes. I am um, remember is about image, uh, the brand um, that customers in, in their minds. And this helps uh, identify and position the mark okay. or brand. Okay, Evelyn, but um, I don't know if somebody of you remember the concept. What is uh, what is brand awareness? I remember I, I mentioned yesterday. And I told you to uh, make some screenshot in order that you can remember. You can take a look at your notes and that way you are going to remember. Oh yes, tell me. Okay, yesterday when we started, and you start telling me. Okay, I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Teacher. Hello, sir. Yesterday we speak about of the brand awareness uh, that this enterprise or, or company need uh, must be present in events. For example, uh, DHL have a representation in Formula Uno or Shell in MotoGP, Coca-Cola in Christmas, uh, for example, the brand need must be in the events for give to know the brand. To promote the, the, the product, right? What? To promote the product. Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. Somebody else? Uh, teacher, I remember uh, repeat a conversation of a uh, new promotion, a new uh, of brand, a new product, and other items, word or mood. is interesting for me. Uh, there is a high degree of a pretty, pretty validity as well. Uh, in other item, and world of most interesting. Okay. <laughs> for me. Okay. okay. Thank you. Somebody else. I remember that I gave you some example related with this. Do you remember it? I remember you you say example uh, soda, ginger soda and cream soda. Okay, yes, because uh, <laughs> yeah, other words. Yeah, other, but, but, yeah. But, at, but at the same time, I remember I show you uh, some examples related with uh, 
Coca-Cola and Pepsi Cola. Mm -hmm. And and also talk about vodka, you know. Okay, somebody else? What can you tell me about? I told you yesterday, try to keep in mind this term because I'm going to ask you tomorrow. And I consider that you already have it by hand, you know? What else? Remember, um, someone branch, uh, absolute, it's someone. Um, Nike? Yeah, I don't remember others. <laughs> only that, only that do you remember? Only that, remember. Oh, okay. What about you, Anna Lilian? Hello, Anna Lillian, are you there? I don't know why you are so shy today. Ahora venido tímida, creo que está the babysitter now. Hola, Anna Lillian. Hola, Yes, are you taking care of your baby now? Yes, it is there. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, Jenny is there. Okay, what can you tell us, Jenny? What do you remember about the previous class? Hi, teacher. Hello, I remember. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. The previous class, I yes. we 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 saw the brand in the different with branding okay the brand is the um, is the bueno no recuerdo la palabra pero the branding is in in no sé cómo se pronuncia intangible Tan, es management of in, intangible creo que era tangible e intangible tangible and intangible ah, eso. Tangible and intangible. In the branding is, is as como la esencia. Okay. Okay, thank you. And the last participation for today in this part. Who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? No, anybody? Okay, I another thing that you need to do is just uh, that, that you need to check the number of the page that we study every day and, uh, and that way you are going to have more information related with the previous topic. If I don't, don't mention it, you, you can ask me, uh, for example, the conversation, uh, I consider that all of you found in the, in the right place. And that way you are going to get, uh, you are going to get in touch with, uh, with those concepts. And it is going to be easy for you to get familiar with it. Okay, let us continue then, if you don't want to talk more. 
Uh, so I told you at the beginning, we are going to talk about the stages uh, of this process. Okay, today we are going to talk about different type of brand awareness. Maybe we are going to call it in this way, uh, but at, uh, at the end, uh, every type is like a, and a specific characteristic, how we can develop brand awareness. Okay, let us start with, uh, I, I know that you remember when we, when we talk about brand recall, what comes to your mind? When uh, uh, a slogan, when you hear a slogan, automatically is associated with a brand. Okay. This picture was sent by one of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Esta foto me la envió uno de ustedes, de los que más viajan. It is brand new, brand new. Hola. Okay, I, I, I need that you uh, understand this, uh, this concept, brand recall. What comes to your mind when you see this picture? Avianca. Ah, Avianca, okay, Avianca. Somebody could say maybe American Airlines, Copa, Volaris. I never had tried that. Spirit, I don't know the new ones. Wendy knows a lot about this. <laughs> so, Delta, United, Volari, Iberia. Ah, okay, Iberia. Okay. Okay, let us see when we, when we talk about brand recall, what does mean? Okay, if I want to, once you read the first paragraph. Me teacher. Okay, thank you. What is brand recall? This is defined as a customer's ability to elicit a brand, brand name from their memory as a result of a prompt by a product category. Okay. If a consumer, if a consumer here, here to the word airlines, a product category in the case, it should bring a specific brand names to mind. Okay, hold on there, hold on there. Let me un segundo. Okay, I, I, I need that you understand this concept, but in a clear way. And, um, the only way that you are going to show me that you understand it is that you give me a maybe different examples. Okay, I'm going to choose one of you that is going to explain it in your own words and you are going to give me your own example. Let me see. Take a look again because I need to stop chatting in order to see your faces. But I'm going to read again, what is a brand recall? This is defined as a customer ability to elicit the brand name from their memory as a result of the prompt by a product category. It's a customer, here's the worst airlines, a product category in this case it should bring specific brand names to mind. Okay, let us, let us hold on there. And we are going to talk about, okay, um, maybe we are not going to talk about airlines, but we can switch that word. Podemos cambiar esa palabra. 
But what I need is that you understand this paragraph. I don't know if you made a, a screenshot in order that you can have it and you can tell me your own words, your own examples related with this. Okay, let me see, let me see. Um, Teacher. Hello, Ana Maria, Maria Elena. Hello. Uh, for example, in brands, when I run, I remember I need um, water, water, but I am need two other drinks. And I am remember Gatorade, for, for example. Que no sé cómo se dice rehidratar en inglés. <laughs> Pero para rehidratarme, esa marca, this, mar this brand, uh, give my give on my mind. Comes to your mind. Comes to your mind. Comes to my Comes to my mind. Comes on my mind. To my mind, okay. Let me see. Okay, somebody else? Participen, por favor, son las últimas clases. No idea. Okay, let me show you again. Okay, you have it there. You can read again and, and, and then you can give me an example. But I'm going to continue reading. Uh, Why are you thinking your own example? Usually a customer is, a big, a, is able to recall at least three brands. If you can recall seven brands names, and at least one to two, two brand names for products, categories that they have low interest in. Brand recall shows that there is a strong link between the product category and brand. Brand recall is also referred to as united or spontaneous recall. Okay, in another word, as soon as you uh, listen the two words, brand recall, what comes to your mind? Tan pronto eh, ustedes ven, oyen las dos palabras, brand recall, ¿qué les viene a su mente? Más que reconocida. Okay. Now I need that you give me an example. Hello. For example, teacher, when I listen the the word computer. Okay. And then I I I remember some of the most popular brands for hardware computers. And then okay. I start thinking about Dell, HP, Compaq. I okay. guess. Okay. Uh, that is, yeah, that is a one that we call brand recall. As soon as you hear these two words, you got some picture in your mind related with the names that you hear. Okay, excellent. And, but all, all depend because some people can remember at least three brands. If you can recall seven brands names and at least one or two brand names for product categories that they have no, they have low interest in. Okay, before to go to the next slide, antes de irme a la siguiente, uh, let us mention a product. Okay, let me see. Escobar, could you name a product? 
puede dar el nombre de cualquier producto que a usted le guste. Uh, iPhone. Ah, ok. Maybe quizás no, 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 le, eh, no les especifique. Por ejemplo, si vamos a hablar de iPhone, entonces solo me debió haber dicho cell phones. ¿Por qué? Porque de ahí se van a desprender las, las diferentes marcas. A eso es lo que le vamos a llamar recall. Other word, teacher. Ok, as really, Excuse me. Other word, car. Ah, ok, car. Ok, let, let me ask. Um, let me see. Ok, Juan Carlos Rivas. Tell me, teacher. As soon as you hear the word car, what comes to your mind? New car. Okay. But remember that we are talking about brand. Tan pronto oyó la palabra car, ¿qué es lo que se le vino a la mente? Toyota. Toyota. Oh, okay. Only that or, or, or something else? Hyundai. Ah, okay. We have two. And Nissan. And Nissan, you got three. That is, we call recall. Okay. Yes, okay. okay, thank you. Yesenia said, give me another ca category. Uh, other category of car. No, 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 mm. no, no about car. Use another product. Ah, okay. Other word. Yes. Mm. There are a lot of different products. Drinks. Oh, okay, drinks. Anna Lilian. Something related with drink. ¿Cómo dice? Ella, la palabra que dice. Repite, Drinks. Drinks. Hello, 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 hello. We are here. Drinks. Bebida, bye. Oh, Coca-Cola. Okay, that's it. Only Coke? Yes. Okay, what about you, Saira? Saira. Yes. Yeah. Uh, drink? Yeah, yes, yes. A drink? Um, uh, Gatorade. Okay. Yeah. What else? Um, juice of aloe. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Ajá, ¿verdad? Que lo que cuesta pensar. Necesito que piensen rápido. Eh, oder, oder drink. Ok, let us try it this way. Claudia, what about you? When we talk about drinks. It's not there, Claudia, it's not there. Okay, Maria Concepcion, when we talk about drinks. Coffee, tea, milk, um, Coca-Cola, juice, uh, <laughs> Gatorade. <laughs> okay, 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 thank you, thank you. Let, let, let me see somebody else. Um, Adriana, if I... If I tell you the category shampoo, okay, give me. 
top, palmo libre. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't remember. No, 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 no. Okay. I use, I use dub. <laughs> okay, Maria Concepcion, if we talk about rice. Uh, rice. Yeah, rice. Uh, Precocido y white. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Okay, that is what we call recall. Eso es lo que le recall. Yo creo que con los ejemplos les quedó claro, ¿cierto? Okay, vayámonos a la siguiente porque son varias. Let's go to the next one. Pero el siguiente día les pregunto y les digo qué pasó, se recuerdan y me dicen no. Y las manos, deja que me pongan el picture. Ok, take a look at the picture. What determines the number of brand names that the customer can recall in? Take a look at the picture. What determines the number of brand names that the customer can recall? In a product category. Let me see. I got I, I I have something here that you can see it very well. Let me switch the color because I got it here. My goodness. I need to switch the color because I got it. Okay, what's the term of the numbers, brand names that the uh, consumer can recall in a product category? What do you think about this? ¿Qué será lo que determina el número de, de, de marcas que los consumidores pueden nombrar así en ciertos productos, como lo que hemos estado haciendo. Promotion. Eh, Quality feature. Ah, ok. ¿Qué más? Popularity. Ah, popularity. ¿Qué más? Maybe how old is the company? Okay. Okay, because of the time, let us continue. Okay, uh, who wants to read this? Famous brand. Yeah. The volunteer who wants to read it? Uh, the number of brands that consumer can recall in a product category is determined determiner this factor like the awareness Set the size. You use the factors, brand loyalty, and situational factors. A consumer who frequently use a product category, for instance, a, a month who frequently use determinant, determine, deter, no sé cómo se pronuncia el dicho. Detergent, 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 detergent. in hair cleanings, in healthy likely to call more brand names other the product category. Detergents, that's I mean hood of sourcing, high cleaning service for the month. Detergents will be a high intensity category. Will do demands. The men in the will be a long intensity category. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to read again the number of brands the consumer can recall in a product category is determined by factual light, the awareness set side, 
use factor, brand loyalty, and situational factor. A consumer who frequently uses a product category, for instance, a mom who frequently uses uh, detergent in her cleaning is highlight likely to recall more brands' names under the product category detergents than a man who outsources his cleaning service. For the mom, detergents will be a high interest category, while to the man, it will be a low interest category. Are you agree with that or not? Just tell me, please. In these times, teacher, many women uh, know what detergents, maybe makeup? <laughs> maybe we talk about makeup, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> okay. Okay, somebody else, somebody else want to make a, uh, a simil like this? Do you, do you know what is, uh, what is the meaning of this expression for intense? For example, yes, it is. But this is in a, an advanced level. That means that uh, in the next model, you are not going to say, for example, you are going to say for instance. Yeah, all depend on the level, and you are going to switch uh, some words, and that way you are going to sound uh, more native, you know. Para que vaya sonando ya más nativo, vaya cambiando algunas palabras que aprendió en el básico y que quieren decir lo mismo, pero que se usan ya en un nivel avanzado. Okay, I'm waiting for examples because I know that uh, you learn uh, just getting examples. Remember that we, we, we got a, a question in the previous slide. Se recuerdan que teníamos una pregunta en la diapositiva anterior, ¿cierto? Somebody? Hello? Um, for me, teacher, I, I like coffee in... When I go to the buy a coffee, the top top of mind in, for me is listo. I listo. I yeah <laughs> in the in the market. Oh, I yeah. re, ¿cómo se dice? I remember the other brands. But, but you say this is the top. Yes, in in my mind is listo. Okay, no Juan Valdez, nada. Only list. Yes, but <laughs> it's high cost. <laughs> yes, I know. It is uh, sometimes. Okay, <laughs> but okay. listo, listo is all days. Yeah, in order to have it in the office, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, no Juan Valdez in the office, only just in, at home. Nice, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice example. Somebody else wants to talk about this? And what about if we talk about deterrents? What comes to your mind, ladies and gentlemen? What can you tell me? For Veamos los caballeros a ver qué 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 le viene a la mente when we talk about uh, deterrents. Okay, let us see. Uh, Carlos Alberto Bautista, eh, Escobar, eh, Misael, eh, let me see, Juan Carlos. Somebody's missing. Mario is there too. Uh, a rinso. Rinso. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else? What else? Larissa. Fab. Okay. What about Thai? Maxi Sol. I I use teacher. I use uh, Mascolo. 
because it's a liquid detergent uh, for the laundry machine. Uh -huh, okay. It's, it's very easy to use. And I, and I agree with you because I use machine too. <laughs> yes, but, but when, I, uh, when I go to the market, I prefer to use Thai, you know, it's, a, it's an orange uh, bottle. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice lavar a mano, teacher? By hand. Wash by hand. Wash by hand. In fact, I, ne I, I never saw uh, about that. But right now, uh, nowadays, it's really difficult, uh, well, to see people that, that do this uh, in, in their houses. They pay in order that somebody else do it. But all the can. But if I ask you to all of you, write your hand if you do it by hand. I don't know how many of you are going to write your hand. Si yo les pregunto, levante la mano quienes lavan su ropa así. A mano. Let me see how, how many hands. Only one. Me ah, teacher. Ana Lilian too. Okay. My uniform. No, no. <laughs> no, dice Mario. <laughs> in, my, in my case, yes, teacher. In machine. Ahí está Mario. The, the, the wheel. The cloth. The clothes, yeah, sorry. Really? Clothes. Yeah. Mm, well. I wash my tennis uh, shoes in the laundry machine, saying all. No, all in machine. Yes. <laughs> no. Si pudiera meter a la niña también la meto. Qué bárbaro. Yes, yes, bárbaro. I clean the, the shoes in the, the machine. <laughs> Tennis. Delicada, ropa delicada, como podría ser? No, care, no. Delicate clothes, delicate clothes. Delicate, yeah, delicate, delicate. clothes. Yeah. Yes, in, in machine. But, but, but also, I remember, um, Misael. This, I don't see Misael there. Ah, it's there, it's there, it's there. I remember that, uh, well, in my, in my washing machine, there is something that said, uh, like hand wash. Hand wash, it is, it is, it is the word that you are asking. But, but also the machine have it. It is called hand wash. Si, hace la máquina como la función, la postcore nunca va a ser igual. Pero aparente que fuese como que si es lavado a mano. This is a hand wash. The, the laundry machine have a specification softly and hard uh, wash. Yes. Uh, maybe all depends on the brands, but because, um, yeah, some have a lot of different categories, you know. Okay, but let me check out the attendance and think in different categories because we are going to continue talking about this. And also, uh, I need that you think. Vamos a poner así como un reto. Eh, ladies, van a pensar en categorías que se nos sean difíciles a nosotros. And we are going to think in ca categories that maybe are going to be kind of tricky to ladies. You got it? No? ¿No comprendieron? Yes. Ah, ok. Ahorita, ahorita están pensando, sí, en lo que estoy buscando, la, la asistencia. Ok, Adriana Alcán. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Eh, Ana Lilia. Present teacher. Ana Mariela. Present teacher. 
Escobar. Present. Eh, Claudia. Present. Francis. José Jonathan Vigil. Juan Carlos. Present Riz. teacher, Francis. Present. Ah, Francis is there. Okay. Juan Carlos Rivas. Yes, yes teacher, teacher, always. Okay, Juan Carlos say present. Laura. Está haciendo el pollo. Present teacher. Ah, okay, it's cooking, it's cooking, it's cooking. Okay, María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Berlice. Present teacher. Okay, um, Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Eh, Santa Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Eh, Yesenia. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. El Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok. Let me check out the shop. I got three messages. Let me see. Somebody say Alexis, Victoria, Sad. I don't know what you are talking about. Mm. Okay, before to continue with the next uh, next stage, uh, let us mention some uh, uh, categories that are maybe are going to be difficult for us and maybe for ladies. Okay, let us see. A pair of that. Always for car. Excuse me, Mario. Oil for car. Ah, okay, okay. Let us see if a lady tell us. Ladies. Car oil, car oil. Car oil. No, Motul. Ah, ah, we got Motul. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Another one. Ah, no se han fijado que... Ensign. Ensign, ok. No se han fijado que aceite le están poniendo a su carro. Solo lo llega. Ah, aquí traigo mi carro. Ah, no, no, no. Ok, Valvo vamos. Line. Excuse me? Creo que así se llama. Valvo Line o algo así. Ok, Valvo Line. In my case, yeah. I don't know because by bus. <laughs> ah. By bus o... O en dos pies. Ok. En el carro de Don Nando. Yes. Ratos corriendo, ratos caminando. Yes. Repsol, other mark. Ah, pensó. 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 Ok, no las pudimos eh. vencer. Ok, ladies, your Ca turn. Castrol. Jesús, ya, ya googlearon ahí. Ok, aquí vamos, las víctimas. Ladies, your turn. Body cream. Hoy oh, sí nos mandó. Body cream. Ok, let us see. Nivea. No. Do Dove. Ok. Nivea. Dove. <laughs> ah, ok. Gracias por la ayuda. <laughs> What else? What else? ¿Qué más podemos decir? Hemos mencionado pocas. Banana. Ah, banana. Yeah. Ok, what else? Mm. Ok, le vamos a dar el segundo round, a ver si nos, si nos terminan. De okay. Okay, gentlemen, the next category. Excuse me, Anna Lilian. Right. 
Uh, you are talking about lotion, right? Okay, Google balls, pack of ribbon. What else? Follow, tell me. Electric tool. Ah, okay. But let, let us use some, an, an specific, okay, you say like electric tools. Okay, ladies, think about, think about. <clears throat> Brand. Eh, Makita. My goodness. I don't have the point of the language. In the tip of the, the of, of my tongue, you said. <laughs> I, I have it in, in the tip of my tongue. Así se dice. Tengo lo tengo en la punta de la lengua. I have it in the tip of my tongue. In the tip. In the of my tip tongue. Of my tongue. Yes, I got it in the tip of the tongue. Eh, Okay, ayúdenme, pretul, ayúdenme. Pretul. Ah, okay. okay, maquita pretul, okay. Um, what about the ones that are yellow? Hay unos que son yellow. Stanley. Sí, eso, eso. But, but what is the name of the brand? Yo trabajo con eso, teacher. Yes, that's <laughs> teacher. Excuse me? Yes, that's. I don't ask. I don't ask your name. That the name of your brand. Black and Decker. Ah, Black and Decker. Okay. Ah, ayúdele para que nos termine después. Okay. The wall. Eh, ah, the ah, okay. 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 Dejémosla ahí. Okay. Now your turn, ladies. Lipstick. Ay, Makeup. No, no. Ay, sí, nos mataron ahí. Lipstick and makeup. No. Oh, I see. I give up. Max Factor, Cover Girl. L'Oreal. Alvaro. Alvaro. Okay, what else? Mac. Me. Avon. Ah, Esica. Esica, okay. Le dieron this copia. Is, this is easy. No, 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 no. It's easy. Mm, okay, not for me. Not for me. It's not easy. Okay, I guess it is clear. Okay, let us continue because we have to, to, to start another material too. Let me continue talking about this. Okay, uh, we have started two. Okay, let us talk about brand recognition. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Brand recognition. Defining brand recognition is to help customer's ability to differentiate a brand when it contact with in the customer's need not remember exact brand names but when a brand name is given the customer is able to state the product or product category for instance brand okay. recognition okay, yeah. continue continue okay Brand recognition can also happen through other features like the slogan, packaging, logos, and jingles. It is also known as the brand record. Continue. Yes. Brand recognition is an indication of the fact that a brand is reaching its target market, a larger number of customers could easily recognize a brand when either when compared to a current accurate remembering what accurately 
accurately remembering a brand name when they only have the product category. Okay. Brand recognition, defining brand recognition is to help customers' ability to differentiate the brand when, it, when in contact with it. The customer needs to remember the exact brand's names, but when a brand name is given, the customer is able to state the product or products category, for instance. Brand recognition is, is, uh, can also happen through other features like slogan, packaging, logos, and jingles. It, it is also known as added brand recall. And also, uh, we can remember uh, cross the color of the item. Uh, the, pre the previous example at the moment that uh, Yesenia was uh, trying, I guess was Yesenia, trying to, to remember the name of uh, different equipment. And for the color, uh, she can easily recognize it and try to remember it. Okay, that is what we call brand recognition. Okay, brand recognition is an indication of the fact that a brand is reaching its target market. That is really important. A larger number of customers could easily recognize brand when aided when compared to accurately remembering a brand name when they only have the product category. And that means that you are going to recognize it at the moment that somebody I show you a packaging, maybe the logo, or uh, if you hear a jingle, you are going to remember it. Okay. Somebody want to give me some example? The album jingle? <laughs> For example, no más lágrimas, no más lágrimas, <laughs> I remember. Hey, <laughs> Ah, okay, okay, nice. Okay. Another one? Vaca o limita con sabor a frutas. Ahí está. Pero lo tenía que hacer cantado. <laughs> Vaca o limita. Ahí está, ahí está. Sabor a frutas. Ah, okay, okay. Y a la hora de las horas no tenía sabor a fruta, sino que solo smell, fish, you know? Fish, bacalao. <laughs> yes. Ok, let us Le dejaba un chapudo, teacher. Excuse me? Lo dejaban chapudo. Ah, ok, yes. Sí, y a algunos niños les gusta el sabor. Tal vez el olor no, pero el sabor a algunos sí les gusta. Okay, uh, what about, let us talk about uh, the top of mind awareness. Okay, uh, as soon as we finish talking about the, the different uh, stages, you are going to make a review of this. Tan pronto terminemos, vamos a hacer como un repaso para ver si se acuerdan de los primeros, porque es necesario mantenerlos en mente. Okay, somebody wants to read this. Me teacher. Okay. What exactly is the top of mind brandness awareness? This is defined as the first brand that comes to a customer mind when they are asked an unprompted question about product category. It is a response that is off of the top of your head. Oh, okay. I need that 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 we understand that phrase that we got in quotes. Necesitamos entender muy bien la frase que está entre comillas. It is a response that is off the top of your head. Remember that the topic said top of mind, top of mind. Okay, the next lines. When the same concept is applied to a larger group of customers, 
It is then referred to as the most remembered or most recalling brand name. Sometimes there can be many recalled brands. I continue yeah. with that. No, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't hear you very well. I don't know, maybe uh, you, you are having a problem with your connection. I hear, let, let me see, maybe until here. Okay, I will try it again. Uh, Thank you. It is then referred to as the most remembered or most recalling brand name. Sometimes there can be many recalled brand name. Okay. Recall, 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 recall brand name. Okay, thank you, brands. The customer can remember on the top of their head. Listen this are highlight likely to be considered they didn't perish. This is especially true where the consumer has to choose among competing brands and if there are positive association with the brand. This usually happen in the case of impulse buying or low involvement categories. Okay, explain it this, please. Teacher, I understand that the off the top of your head is uh, the brand that the brands that I have in my main. Uh, for example, when I need a soda, I think Pepsi. When okay. I need a beer, I think Pilsener. Uh, I think immediately in a brand. Immediately. I don't think in a lot. Because the brand having my health, uh, I think so. Okay, and something that I would like to add, add in this uh, this line, this usually happen in the case in the cases of impulse impulse buying or low involvement categories. There is an special term when we when somebody uh, is impulse buying, you know. We call it shopaholics. Do you know uh, that term? Conocen ese término? No. No? Okay, let me share it with you. Se lo voy a regalar para que se lo lleven ahorita mismo. It is in that way. It's like uh, when someone has a, a kind of addiction to shop compulsively. Yes, es cuando alguien es, es impulsivo. Es lo que está diciendo aquí. Persona impulsiva, la compra que no necesita, pero él dice, ah, es mío, lo compro. We call it shopaholic. Are you shopaholics? Oops. Are you shopaholics or not? Yeah. No. No, okay. Ah, uh, that means that maybe you are low in both. Uh, you are uh, not impulsive. Maybe you are low impulsive by something new. Okay, that we call chapaholics. Okay, okay, uh, right here, it is really important that you, what you have mentioned, uh, when we talk about uh, the top of mind, it is the, the first brand that we think of at the moment that we need something, right? Uh, for example, if you need to, to paint your house, tell me in a hurry. Uh, 
Hello. No, se me durmieron. Let me see if I got my microphone is right. I don't know, Sherwin, Sherwin Williams, maybe. Yeah, it is Sherwin Williams, right? In the second, Corona. Ah. Uh, the second option is Protector. But for pain, pain house. Yes. Short teacher. Okay, good teacher. Come. Ah, okay, okay. Think, think in more examples. Okay, what else? Okay, let us continue then. Okay, what about this one? Brand dominance. What is that? Take a look at the picture that we, we have here. Cook. Yeah, if we talk about drink, Immediately, most of the people is going to think in Coca-Cola. Yes or not? Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, take a look at this. Here's how we can explain brand dominance. This is when a consumer can only recall one brand name in a product category. It is really clear. When a large number of people can only recall a single brand name in a product category, we talk of the brand name having become a household name. A household name is seen as an indicator of brand success. Sometimes brand names become synonymous with product categories, such as brand are said to be generic brands. A good example here are brands like Coke and Kleenex. Usually, when one wants a beverage, they are likely to add for a Coke. While it might look like a great idea for a brand to end up being generic, it may work against a brand where uh, competition brand names are introduced at the request of the generic brand name. For instance, one may request for a cup at a restaurant, but instead is presented with an alternative which may be cheaper or healthier, for instance. I don't know if you got the example. Think, think about that. Piensen, piensen en esos ejemplos de, de marcas genéricas. Es coach, teacher. I remember in a TV show, TV show, Mexican, a man confused mayonesa Hellman's with McCormick. Ah, okay. 
Okay. Okay, you got some ideas. Let me let me go forward. Well, this is the last one. Okay. Now, uh, in order to continue, you already got some ideas. We are going to work in the material. Let, let us go to exercise number four of your book. I'm going to share with you. I got it here. And now it's going to be easy for you to, to, to recognize this each concept. Okay, number four, say building vocabulary. Uh, brand awareness is the ability of customer to identify your brand by its uh, attributes. The following are some stages of brand awareness. Match the stages of brand awareness to their description. And we already got um, five different names i'm going to give you some time in order that you can resolve and then we are going to talk about this okay if you got your material you can do it in your material if you don't have it make an screenshot because i need to stop chatting because i need to see your faces uh yes read it uh we already talked about brand recall recognition title of my uh, we already talk about brands, dominance, and also unknown brands. Okay. Try to work, and then we are going to compare. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Any question? No? No creo, okay. Porque ya hemos dado los ejemplos de cada uno de ellos. Ahora solo lo va a relacionar usted. Okay, try to do it now, please. 34, 34, teacher. Excuse me? In the page uh, 34, 34, 34. Yes, it is, uh, yeah, 34. It is, it is there. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to give you five or six minutes in order to resolve. Is that enough for you? Yes? O menos tiempo, en dos minutos lo hace, ¿cierto?
Okay, let us start now. Um, let us resolve the number one. Uh, okay, right here. Customer don't recognize your brand. What number do you have in this space? Number five. Number five. 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 No, no brand. Oh, okay, five. okay. Bingo, number five is the right one. What about the next one? Customer can recall any brand that you use a particular, particular product category. Four. It is number four. four. Number four. The number four is here. Okay. Next, a consumer is able to recall the name of the brand when given a product category. It is number? Number one. 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 Number one, okay, number one. Three. Next one, it is? Three. Number? Three. The first brand customer can think of for a product category. It is the top of mind, okay? Number two. Perfecto. And the last one you said is number two. Let me see if you got it this way. You got 10. Si las tiene así, tiene 10. Si no las tiene así, he ahí el problema. Okay, compare with the one that you have. Compare, por favor, con lo que tienes. Is done? Okay. Ya lo hicieron, ¿cierto? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let us continue with the next activity that we are going to resolve. But before I need to raise this number, because if I move the pace, they are going to stay there. I don't want to see that. Okay, let us continue talking about activity number five. This is a pair where what you are going to do is yes, that you are going to work with somebody else. What brands are top of mind for you and for your classmates? You are going to complete the chart with your own information. Then you are going to interview a classmate and compare your answer. And uh, you have a question. What are example of ice cream produced locally? You are going to put your, the name here. And later on, you are going to talk with somebody else. I mean, this is your space. Okay, what about this? What was the name of a computer company identified by a particular thread? And you are going to write down the name here. And for this one, can you explain what a clinic is? Okay, and this one, what, what's your favorite movie theater? Okay, any questions about from here? Alguna pregunta? No? Okay, let us start working. Inicien, por favor, a responder cada pregunta. Cuando ya estén, uh, we are going to work with somebody else. You have uh, like five minutes to do this.
Okay, I guess uh, you finish. That means that you are ready to start working with Tom Mariel, okay? Okay, you are going to ask a question to somebody else and vice versa. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Sorry, teach. No food, teacher. Why? No sé. Intenté y no me salió bien. Que esto me saca. Mario, 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 somebody's waiting for you there. Teacher, a mí me regreso nuevamente. Again.
Teacher, microphone. Okay, let us see what you have in common. Somebody wants to share your ideas? Okay, tell me. No, teacher, a mí siempre me saca, siempre en los grupos pequeños, por eso no me gusta meter. Teacher, with my partner and the first one in ice cream, I am remember um, Sarita in Boston. And she remember Sarita Rio Soto Neveria. Okay. For the first one. What about the second one? The second one is easy <laughs> by particular fruit, apple. <laughs> okay, particular fruit, fruit. Particular fruit is equal. <laughs> ah, you got the same, okay. It's the same. And can you explain what a Kleenex uh, tissue um, is the word for pañuelo de papel? Tissue and theater, um, cinema. No, Cinepolis. Mm -hmm. But in this one, I am remember other movie theater. Uh, movie theater? Other movie, movie theater, for example, um, España, Terrazas. But in in this day. It's over, <laughs> ya no existen. Okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, so Maria. And my partner is Laura. Uh, what are example of the ice cream in Boston and Saritas? Boston and Sarita, okay. What the name of the computer computer company is up Apple. Apple, Apple. Can you explain what a cleaner is handy top wells, Kleenex, it toilet paper and diapers. Okay. And what your favorite movie theater in Cinepolis and Cinema? Okay. Okay, somebody else? Uh, me, teacher. My partner was um, Carlos Alberto. Okay, Carlos and Alberto. The first, what are examples of ice cream products lo locally? Um, Rio Soto, Sarita, y Sin Rival. The second, what the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit is Apple. Okay. Third, can you explain what a Kleenex is? Uh, is a uh, wet towels. And finally, what's your favorite movie theater? Um, cin cinema. Okay, that word we pronounce theater. 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 No, it is a, it's a freak, it, let, let me see, it's an interdental sound. Mm -hmm. You need to put the tip of the tongue between both uh, upper and lower teeth. Ponemos la punta de nuestra lengua entre los dientes superiores e inferiores y hacemos un sonido Z, theater. Theater? 
Firer. 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 La T se convierte en R. Firer. La T se convierte en una R. Movie Firer. Firer. Ah, ok, much better. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to check up uh, the attendance now. We are close to finish. Thank you. Uh, let me see all your name here. Remember that we are so close to finish this module. Estamos próximos a finalizar este módulo. Algunos pues ya se sienten cansados, otros ya agarraron eh, un aire para continuar. De eso se trata. Eh, esto es muy complejo en el sentido de que hay que sacrificar a no solamente tal vez el tiempo que tengamos libre, sino también a las familias, pero al final se verán los resultados. De eso hay que estar seguro. Que todo los sacrificio tiene su recompensa. Así es que yo les invito a que sigan adelante porque esto sigue okay, Adriana del Carmen present teacher Ana Beatriz present teacher Ana Lilian present teacher eh, Ana María la Maravilla present teacher eh, Carlos Antonio Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Jonathan. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. Present. Teacher. María Elena Guadalupe. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Santos Misael Cañas. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Sulaima. Present teacher. Okay. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, remember that um, it is mandatory that you have your cameras on. I know sometimes it's really difficult, but I need to remember it. Well, uh, try to remember all what we are starting today. Traten de recordar lo que vimos el día de hoy para que el día de mañana podamos hacer una conexión con lo que viene. Para que así eh, al final eh, podamos tener buenos conceptos de cada tema que hemos ido viendo. Ok. Uh, Ms. Ober, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. If not, I wish you a wonderful night that you can rest and get ready to start a new day tomorrow early. Okay, no preguntas? Good night, teacher. Okay, no. and another thing before you go, uh, Antes de que se me vayan, por favor, vayamos trabajando en la semana última que nos queda en la plataforma para no correr el último día hoy, porque me gusta eh, terminando el módulo y cuadrando en la misma noche cuadro para estar libre ya el siguiente día. Ya a las 8 de la mañana del sábado, eso ya está cuadrado. Y gracias a quién? A ustedes. Por eso les invito a que Hagamos las cosas lo más pronto posible. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care.
Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Blessing. Good night. Maria Elena, are you there? Maria Elena, se fue.